Hello everyone, this is Daniel from the Provision ISR channel. It's a pleasure having you with us in this Provision ISR tutorial. Today we are going to talk about the new Provision Cam 2 mobile app. We will go over the installation process and the main features. First, let's download the Provision Cam 2 app from Google Play Store or App Store. The installation process may vary in different mobile phone models. When the installation is finished, click on the Provision Cam 2 icon. When running the app for the first time, you will see a short tutorial with explanation about the different features. Let's skip that for now. Now we can see the main screen of the app. First step we want to make is adding a device, DVR, MVR, or IP camera. In case of adding devices through the Provision ISR cloud solution, we must choose the QR icon and scan the QR code of the device. This code is printed on the labels placed on the top of the device or in the device's menu, Menu, Information, QR Code. After scanning the code, you should input the username and password for the device you have just added. In this case, admin, and 123456. If process was successful, clicking on Preview will display live image from the device. If we wish to add a device using IP address or domain name, click on the Main Menu icon, and then on Server List. Now click on the plus symbol. This will open a template for adding a new device. In the tab My Device, we may enter the IP address, the domain name we created in Provision ISR DNS Server, or even the MAC address of the device. In the tab Nickname, we can put any name we wish. This will be the display name of the device. In User and Password, enter the values set in the device. In this case, we will use Admin and Password 123456. Click on Save will bring us back to the server list, where we can delete, edit, and so on. BTW, the green link icon, will show us the online devices. In this way, we can know if we have a problematic device. Let's get back to the main page screen. Now, let's go over the different tabs and features. In order to view the cameras from a device, we should click on the Device Name List, where we can choose which device to view. Now we have two options. Either we drag the device name into the upper screen to view all cameras, or we simply click the device name to view the available channels and then drag each channel we want separately to the desired location. We may also mix between different channels from different devices and then create our customized groups by clicking the upper star symbol and choose Add Favorite. Later, we will be able to quickly go back to that group by choosing Play Favorite. The camera icon allows us to take a snapshot. Just click on the channel and then on the snapshot icon. Once we did that, we can also share it by Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, and so on by clicking on the Picture Option icon. The Video Camera icon to record a video on the mobile phone. Split Screen icon to choose the screen layout. Speaker icon to hear audio from the chosen channel. Mic icon to talk through the remote device. The arrow icons to move to the next channel or channels. The playback icon switch to remote playback interface. Here we need to choose the date and then we can move the cursor and pinch to zoom in order to find the required time. We can also move forward and rewind. Also, here we have the same options as in the main screen, 
We can switch between devices. We can take a snap and share it. We can record a video on our mobile phone. And we can hear audio if one was recorded. On the channel screen itself, we have another small menu. Rocket. Real-time mainstream, recommended to use in LAN only. Painting, to choose the view quality. Color chart, for brightness, contrast, and so on. PTZ, to operate a PTZ camera if one connected. Rotate screen, to enjoy widescreen view. That more or less summarizes our main screen options and features. Next, let's look at other features on the app. Clicking on the main menu icon will another open side menu. Remote settings. Here we will be able to set up our remote device. Local. Here we can do some local setting of the app such as Launch setting, where we can decide what will be displayed when we start the application. We can set up gesture password and more. Server list, where we can see, edit, delete, and add to our server list. File, where we can see all the snaps and videos we captured on the mobile phone. Help will give a short brief on everything we can do in the app. This is where we like to thank you for watching our tutorial. We hope it was helpful. We invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and enjoy more tutorials such as this one. Thank you.